approximately 72% of the energy from primary global sources is lost during the energy conversion process. Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Alberta. Part of my research involves searching for materials to be used in sustainable energy applications. In this video, I will focus on a particular class of materials that convert waste heat into electricity called thermoelectrics. Waste heat is an unavoidable consequence of the second law of thermodynamics. For example, when a primary source like sunlight is converted into electricity by a solar panel system, waste heat can be generated as a byproduct. A thermoelectric material, if attached to such a system, can recover some of the waste heat as electricity using a temperature gradient as a means to generate an electric current. There are a lot of sources of waste heat in our society. If we are able to turn the heat into something usable like electricity, then we can make improvements to our energy efficiency on a global scale. Thermoelectric materials can be incorporated into many systems. For example, to harvest energy from electronics like personal devices or server farms, uh, recover heat from generate from combustion using body heat to power devices like pacemakers and improve the efficiency of alternative energy resources like geothermal and solar. half poisel alloys are an example of a successful group of thermoelectric material in the field due to their stability, their mechanical strength, and efficiency. So what is a half voice alloy? They are a crystalline material made up of certain chemical elements in a, in a 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio, arranged in a specific way. This is what the half voice arrangement looks like. There are over 100,000 possible combinations of chemical elements in a 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio, and in reality, only a fraction of all combinations result in a half Hoistler arrangement. Their structural arrangement is what makes them special. Unfortunately, there are three ways that you can arrange the atoms, and only one is correct. We need the correct structure in order to use our physics-based models to computationally calculate its properties. These properties can determine its theoretical thermoelectric efficiency. We use computational simulations before putting in the effort to physically build a prototype because it is faster and less costly to pre-screen promising candidate materials first. Due to the large number of possible candidates, a machine learning approach was adopted to solve the problem. Machine learning allows us to take advantage of trends in big data that only it can find easily. I have developed two machine learning models that answer the questions can the combined elements in a 1 is to 1 ratio form a half Hoistler arrangement? And what is the correct arrangement of those atoms out of the three possibilities? The first model predicted over 100 possible combinations of elements that could work. I synthesized six new half Hoistler alloys from this list to validate this model. The second model predicted the correct arrangement. These arrangements were confirmed by X-ray diffraction studies of the material. As a final result, we have successfully screened through over 300,000 simulation possibilities to just 103 candidates. Now we have a list of new half oyster compounds and a way to determine the correct arrangement in a matter of seconds. This information can be used to calculate their thermoelectric properties and then decide whether there is a candidate with a high thermoelectric efficiency that we can prototype a, void, a prototype a device for. Thank you for listening to my talk.